In this short video, you'll learn more about the types of projects we're looking for to participate as teams in the Rhodes Innovation Challenge Track. Rhodes is the challenge track in Next Cycle, Michigan, focused on the use of recycled materials that are in need of end market development to improve Michigan's road and path infrastructure. The challenge statement for the Rhodes track is, teams are challenged to expand the use of recycled content in road and path construction. We're using a broad definition of roads and paths for the challenge track, which includes the use of recycled materials in roads, road bases, and other paved surfaces, paths, trails, roadside growing medium, and related green infrastructure. On the left side, you can see the material streams of primary consideration for the roads track projects. These material streams are identified as part of the 2020 Next Cycle Michigan Gap Analysis as opportunities for significant growth in end market development, making them a priority for the roads track. Priority of these material streams will be built into the criteria when selecting teams for the track. This is not to say only projects focused on these materials are eligible to participate in the Roads Challenge Track, but projects addressing the listed materials will be given primary consideration. With consideration to the opportunity for end market development for the listed materials and the track's challenge statement in mind, the focus of the Roads Track will be the use of recycled commodities as inputs for Roads type projects. With the use of recycled commodities for Roads projects in mind, it's helpful to think about the types of projects that would fall into scope for the roads track and what may be better suited for one of the other challenge tracks. The use of recycled commodities in the construction of an airport runway would be in, while the use of recycled commodities to build an airport parking garage, infrastructure we're considering out of scope for the track, would potentially be better suited for the recycling supply chain track. The use of scrap tires for a playground surface or the use of wood waste to create a trail in a state park would be would be in, while the use of recycled material to build playground equipment or recycling bins would be better suited elsewhere, potentially the recycling and innovation technology track or the intergovernmental initiatives and public-private partnership track. The use of finished compost in the revegetation of transportation projects would be in, while the actual processing of food waste into compost would be better suited for the organic. And finally, the use of mixed plastic or recycled content to create something like a railroad tie or road surface would be in, while the actual recycling of used rail, railroad ties or old road would fall into another track. As a reminder from an earlier video, teams are eligible to participate in the Roads Challenge track if they meet the following criteria. The project is based in the state of Michigan, even if the individual, business, or project team applying is not. The material being utilized for the project is one that would otherwise be wasted. Technologies developed or utilized by project teams are technically proven or feasible. And finally, the project will need to be scalable. To find out more about the Roads Challenge Track and the Next Cycle Michigan Initiative, please visit our website at nextcyclemichigan.com and tune into our next video where we'll cover the application project process for the Roads Innovation Challenge Track.